it's Claire here and this is the next in the series of videos on how to use the GIMP to make tiles from your artwork, repeating seamless and easy tiles. In the links below this video you'll find the preceding videos where, the, where I made the tile and then we looked at how to make the tile prettier if required, how to boost it with curves, all that sort of thing. In this video I want to concentrate on actually exporting the tile into the GIMP program itself so that you can use it to cover any document or surface within the GIMP program without having to export it anywhere first. What I used to do was to make these tiles and then automatically just make them so they could be imported into Photoshop and used and you can still do that of course but you can also much more easily than I thought keep your patterns within GIMP to put over surfaces as well and that's what I'll be covering today. So here is the tile duly doctored and yes I'm sure there are lots more things I could have done to doctor it but I wanted to make the videos um, as short and interesting as you can for this sort of topic but here is our tile and to make the image itself or rather to take the tile and put it into the program here is the process first of all you select the image now i've you want to select the whole image you can do that by pressing Control and a or actually you have to be with the right tool to do that but you can also select it i'm going to select select all and now you can see this is all selected because you've got marching ants around the side of the tile You've done that. So next you want to copy it. Again, you can control copy or up here, edit, copy. So this is copy this tile. And then again, this is the really clever bit in terms of how this program works. Press edit and paste as. And on the paste as menu, Paste as new pattern, if you click on that, it will then give you the chance to save the pattern within the GIMP program. So I'm going to call this Yellow Daisies 2. There is in fact a Yellow Daisies 1 because that's what I was using to work out what best to show in this video. So I'm just going to do that and see it's saving that rather nicely as a pattern file and now if we look at these one of these swatches where's it going to be yeah, yeah there we go yellow daisies too the pattern is now safely, although that's a very tiny piece of it, the pattern is now safely within the GIMP program. Now, this is actually a very large tile. I'm just going to do Control D to stop that selection. Oh, it's supposed to stop it. Oh. Because in fact, we've, we've done with the tile, but we do, of course, still need to test the details. That is actually, it's a huge tile. It's an A4 size tile, which you wouldn't normally do most probably. I'm going to close this view. Um, I'm actually going to discard changes because it's all done. Oh come on close. And what I'm going to do now is to create an A3 file so that you can see how that A4 tile tiles if you will. It'll give me an image size warning but it will still actually work. So once you've got your tile in here, how to get the tile out of here and into the document. Now, this took me a little while to puzzle out, but it's actually a lot easier than you think. With the pattern you want selected, Yellow Daisies 2, it's, see it's selected here. You could have selected that one, but we're gonna click on here to select it. Now GIMP knows what pattern you want, but in its terms, it doesn't know where to put the pattern. So what you have to do is select this area, 
see again the marching ant. And click and here go to edit fill with pattern and like magic in it goes. So that's how to create a tile not just a tile from your pattern but how to get the tile into the GIMP and then to make sure that the repeat works to your satisfaction by tiling a larger document again within the GIMP so it can all be done within one program it's a quicker workflow and there isn't all the ins and outs of needing to go to other programs I hope that this was helpful and please do leave any comments or suggestions for this or any other videos that you might like to see thank you ever so much for watching and have a great day thanks a lot